long before COVID, long before Trump, and even long before the internet. The Earth was a barren, lifeless rock floating in space. Being so barren, the gods became bored. They yearned for a day where the landscape would be lined with femboy hooters and goth eye hops as far as the eye could see. For there was nothing on this sad, lifeless earth. One day, the gods were bored out of their minds, fantasizing about how great it would be if they had some weed to smoke to pass the time. Yet weed didn't exist yet. The gods were bothered by this. Deeply bothered existentially bothered. A world without weed frightened and worried them beyond any degree that mere mortals can comprehend. Out of this existential boredom, the gods agreed that they must do something about this problem. They decided to create life. The gods first tried to create life out of gold, but it didn't do much. They then attempted to build life out of crystal, but that too didn't do much. The gods spent eons trying to create life out of everything they could think of, but nothing worked. One night, the gods, after losing all hope, decided that a night of heavy drinking was the coping mechanism they needed to come to grips with. The fact that they'd never create life. In their drunken stupor, they decided to have a joke contest where they'd attempt to create life from the stupidest things they could find. One of the gods, the drunkest of them all, attempted to create life from the most disgusting puddle of hot, greasy water he could find. To his astonishment and horror, he succeeded. When the gods awoke the next morning, they first thought that their blacked-out memory and hangover suffering was the worst thing they'd thing they'd deal with that day. Upon looking at the disgusting, foaming mess in the puddle however, they realized what they had done. They had succeeded in creating life, but in the most disgusting form imaginable. The gods then abandoned the earth and left to roam the universe in search of a way to end their trauma and suffering. Some say they are wandering the universe, still searching in vain for their space weed. Some say they are wandering the universe, seeking a source of divine therapy. Some say they were driven by their incredible depression to dive into black holes, where they have long since died. And yet some are hopeful that the gods will someday return. For those who believe this, a single, obvious goal exists. Preserve the weed. Someday, perhaps the gods will come home and find the weed they were looking for all along. And perhaps then they will finally be happy. And perhaps then, the gods will finally love us. Please gods. Please come back and love us. You can have all our weed. Just make this nightmare end.